Okay, hello you 10. What we're going to be looking at today then is reversible reactions. So hopefully you've got this worksheet either in front of you or printed out. This is the worksheet that we're going to be following to do the practical and then you've got some questions at the bottom that you're going to be answering. What we're going to be doing today is taking a boiling tube and adding some ammonium chloride to our boiling tube. So ammonium chloride is a white solid and then as we heat it we're looking to see if anything changes, if there's any kind of reaction taking place. So what we're going to end up with is our boiling tube with our white powder at the bottom which is ammonium chloride and then we've got some mineral wool in the neck of our boiling tube and the reason for that is just to try and stop the gases from escaping. So we're going to heat our ammonium chloride and as we're heating it, we're going to look to see if anything changes, if the boiling tube looks different at all. So we need to remember that at the moment we've got white solid at the bottom which is our ammonium chloride and we've not got anything else in our boiling tube here, everything else we can see through it, there's nothing else there. Um, remember ammonium chloride has the formula NH4Cl. So we've got some nitrogen, we've got some hydrogen and we've got some chlorine present. So as we heat it, let's see if we can see anything happening in our boiling tube. So we're heating it on a roaring flame, so heating it on a blue flame and looking to see if anything happens to this ammonium chloride. We should see something happening fairly shortly. Because remember at the beginning we just had white solid at the bottom which was the ammonium chloride and there was nothing else in the boiling tube. Whereas now we're heating it and we can definitely see something happening in our boiling tube and we need to be able to explain what's happening in our boiling tube. So if I turn this on to safety flame, so we'll leave that there for a moment and then hopefully you can see in the boiling tube it's white solids at the bottom but there's less of the white solid at the bottom than what we started off with and the boiling tube definitely looks different to what it did at the beginning of the reaction. So at the beginning it was completely colourless all the way up, it was transparent, we could see through it, okay now it's got this white coating all the way around it and we need to be able to work out what that white coating is. So remember this is all about a reversible reaction. So a reversible reaction can go forwards and it can also go backwards. So ammonium chloride at the start, as we heated it, we could see some gases being given off and then we had the mineral wool in the boiling tube to stop the gases from escaping. And then something's happened with those gases near the top of the boiling tube to make it form this white solid at the top of the boiling tube. And that's what we need to think about. What is this white solid at the top of our boiling tube? Okay, have a think about that and have a go at the questions on your experiment sheet. Thank you.